Welcome to this January 2025 edition of our Notebook LM 101. Uh, just in 10 or so minutes, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction into Google's Notebook LM with some use cases and how you can get started. So if you've not heard of it, what is Notebook LM? Well, it is an AI-powered research assistant that Google launched to some great fanfare uh, towards the end of 2024. It started off as a bit of a side project in a separate team and went viral for some of the reasons I'm going to show you in a minute. It is a great tool if you want to research and learn a specific topic. Uh, that might be uh, a new regulation. It might be a new policy within your company. The difference uh, between Notebook LM and many of the other AI products is that this only references the sources that you provide it. It's not going to uh, hallucinate uh, by bringing in uh, other internet or training knowledge that it has. How do you get Notebook LM? Well, you go to notebooklm.google.com. Now, there's a couple of different license types. Um, the main one, if you're an individual using it, is likely to be just Notebook LM. And there's now a Notebook LM Plus, which is more aimed at business users. And both of those are now being rolled out as part of Google Workspace if you have a, uh, a Google Workspace account as part of, uh, of your work at your company. Now, what's the difference between these two license types? Well, it's evolving daily as this team is shipping so many great new features and functions. But as of today, the 30th of January, this is how these two products are separated. The main thing that you need to know is that with Notebook LM Plus, you're going to get more capacity. That's in terms of the number of audio overviews, the number of notebooks, the number of sources that you can load up to each notebook. So there's more capacity. And you're also going to find you get more functionality around um, uh, privacy and security for uh, larger businesses that are likely to be using that uh, product. So I mentioned there that at the moment, Google is rolling out Notebook LM into your Google Workspace account if you are Google users. And uh, these should be arriving as early as the 5th of February. So that's just a week or so away from when I'm recording this. Um, if you have one of these Google Workspace packages on the left, Business Starter and so on, then you're going to see Notebook LM uh, added in as a core service under your Google Terms and Conditions. And if you are on any of these products on the right, business standard and so on, then you are going to see Notebook LM Plus as a core service. So look out for that. And I'm going to provide some links at the end of this where you can get access to Notebook LM and find out a little bit more about which edition you'll be covered at under. And if you're a personal user with a personal uh, Gmail account, uh, then you're able to access Notebook LM uh, for free anyway. So how do we use Notebook LM? Well, having gone to notebooklm.google.com and set up your account, one of the first things you'll be prompted to do is to create a new notebook. And then this is the first screen that you're going to see, add sources. Well, what is a source? Well, it can be anything about the topic that you want to create this notebook uh, around. It could be a PDF. It could be a Word document. If you are Google users, then it might be a Google Drive document or a presentation or, um, or so on. Uh, it could be that you're getting YouTube videos or maybe a website for a customer or supplier. Or indeed, you could just write something in yourself. But this is the corpus of knowledge that Notebook LM will use. So we think about reports, we think about books, we think about anything uh, that you've got documented to add to your notebook. Having done that, you're going to see this very simple three card uh, user interface. And I'll just walk you through it. On the left hand side, you're going to have your sources. So these are the things that you've uploaded. And just as an example, I've done one for Anglo American here, uh, the big uh, mining uh, and commodities conglomerate. And I've uploaded their half year results as a YouTube video of them presenting that. I've uploaded a link to their website where they're talking about how they're going to reimagine mining. And then I've also uploaded a PDF of their 2024 interim investor results. And so that's a good example. It's a tight topic. It's around one specific company, but I've got multiple sources. Having done that, 
Notebook LM has automatically created uh, this middle pane, which is the chat window. And so here it's got a summary of what it's learned. Well, uh, this is what these three documents include. You can see there the America, Anglo Americans 2024 interim results, a website excerpt, and a YouTube, YouTube transcript. Uh, you can see that it has automatically down at the bottom in the chat uh, suggested some questions that you might want to ask. So that's guiding you. And here you can chat just as in the same way that you would with a chat GPT or a Claude. You can start asking. The main difference here is that your questions are only going to be answered by the sources that have been provided. It is not going to be going out any further than that. And now on the right hand side are some really interesting things. And this is where I mentioned earlier that Notebook LM went, uh, went viral uh, on, um, uh, on the back of this audio interview or audio overview that you see on the top right here. Based on the sources that you have uploaded, Notebook LM will create an AI generated podcast interview between two uh, wonderful hosts who discuss the sources that you have uh, uploaded. And I have to say, I've been so impressed with the quality of these. Um, I uploaded uh, one of the books that I had uh, written as a source. And to hear these two uh, podcast hosts discuss the intricacies of the different chapters of this book was really insightful. So you'll get, depending on the level of the sources that you've added in, you might get a seven minute podcast interview, you might get a 30 minute podcast interview, it'll depend on the depth. Um, newly launched uh, just a few weeks back is the new interactive mode, uh, which you can see underneath uh, there, uh, interactive mode is there. And when you click on this, uh, not only will you hear the two podcasts uh, speaking uh, about the topic, but you're able to click a button and get involved in that discussion. And they'll say, oh, hey, thanks for joining. You know, how can I help? And you can actually start discussing or asking your questions about the specific source. It makes it truly interactive. Uh, and further down on that studio pane, you'll see some pre-built uh, 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 prompts, uh, create me a study guide, create me an FAQ, create me a briefing document. And these notes uh, make it really super easy to summarize and to get a background into a complex topic. So that is Notebook LM. It's super simple. If you can navigate your way around these three panes, then, uh, then you understand how to use Notebook LM. Now, it's not just about you. It's also, can you share this out to other people in your company? So depending on whether you're on Notebook LM, whether you're on Notebook LM Plus, um, uh, you'll uh, see different variations of this screen. Um, but you're then able to share your notebooks out with other people. So imagine this scenario that you have an account team in your company that looks after, in this example, Anglo-American. You might have an account executive, you might have an SDR, you might have a senior manager, uh, you might have a customer success manager, all looking after this account. Well, here we can create a notebook about Anglo-American and about their strategy and about their financial results. And we can share this out across our team so that everyone can quickly come up to speed with the company. So let's think about some different use cases. How might you use this powerful capability? Well, think about things that are difficult for you to quickly come up to speed on. So there could be external regulations or compliance documents. So maybe you work in uh, the EU and you need to come up to speed with, uh, I don't know, GDPR or the new um, uh, uh, AI uh, regulations. Maybe you work in a regulated industry like healthcare or financial services, and you need to quickly come up to speed with one of those uh, regulations or compliance documents. These are typically very complex, uh, very wordy documents, and for the uninitiated can be difficult to understand. So Notebook LM is great for understanding and being able to discuss about those. The second would be internal processes and policies. So perhaps you've got a very long uh, hiring policy. Perhaps you've got a very long uh, IT uh, policy. Um, maybe it's about your sales process or your customer support process or an expenses policy. 
These are the kind of things that you can upload and immediately start summarizing and asking questions about those documents. Maybe you're getting things from third parties that you're working uh, with or for. Uh, maybe a supplier sends you a 90 page master service agreement that governs the supply of their services. Maybe a customer that you're trying to sell to shares their terms of service. Uh, quickly being able to upload that, maybe alongside your own terms of service, and start to discuss where these things are different and where you see risks. And then the fourth example I would give you is more of a personal one, is to thinking about new skills or topics that you're trying to take on. Uh, maybe you work in legal, but you're trying to understand at the perspective of your finance team. Maybe you work in sales and you're trying to understand the perspective of your customer support team. Uh, maybe you work in marketing and you're trying to understand the world of the target buyer that you're selling into. This is a great way of picking up information that's very complex and detailed relating to something outside of your sphere of knowledge and being able to quickly uh, uh, import that and, and learn and discuss how to use it. Now, privacy and governance, always important when we're thinking about things to do with AI. Um, if you're logging in with your personal Google account, then there is no training on the data or the sources that you upload or what you type into the chat. Uh, but do be aware that if you choose to provide feedback to them, then uh, whilst they won't train the model, it may be that human uh, reviewers are reading what you have put into that. Um, on the other hand, if you're a Google Workspace uh, customer, then there is absolutely no review um, of any of your uh, content, and it's definitely not being used to train your AI models. You're being covered under your Google Terms of Service, so you shouldn't have any concerns there. So finally, wrap up with a couple of considerations. Uh, so number one, focus the notebook on a specific topic because you will then get much better responses. Uh, if you start to provide it with sort of various information about three or four different customers or two or, four, or, two or three different industries, then it's going to uh, get a little bit hazy about what it is that you're um, trying to ask about. So create different notebooks for different customers or different policies or processes. Secondly, consider multiple sources of information. So as I had there with the Anglo-American one, I got a YouTube video, I had a PDF, I had a link to a website. Uh, think of different perspectives on this one topic that might help to grow your thinking and develop uh, your understanding. And then finally, as with all AI models, we saw that chat window in the middle there. Be very, very clear and specific about what it is that you want. Uh, if you're just going to say, summarize this document, uh, you're going to get, you'll get a summary, but it'll be quite vague. But if you can more clearly detail exactly what it is, uh, maybe even by pointing to a specific page, you're going to get a much better response and uh, you're going to help your learning move along much faster. So for more information, super simple, notebooklm.google.com. Uh, that will allow you to set up an account uh, if you have not already got one. Once you're in there, up on your profile, up at the right, you'll see help and you'll get information about no Notebook LM. There's also a change log in there that'll show you all of the new features that are coming out uh, literally on a daily or weekly basis. So uh, keep uh, on top of that. With that, Thank you very much. That was a very quick run through and really excited to hear how you get on with Notebook LM and your different use cases.